Hi, very good morning to all of you. So it is a great um, privilege to be here amongst um, the Retailers Association of India, and I believe this is um, the start of a very um, fruitful and long partnership between FAME, TN, and RAI. Uh, for those of you who may be wondering what FAME is, uh, it has been um, mentioned several times since the start of this uh, event. I would like to tell you a little about our organization called FAME Tamil Nadu. Uh, FAME is actually an acronym for Facilitating MSMEs of Tamil Nadu. It is an autonomous organization under the MSME department, and it works in tandem with the Department of Industries and Commerce, which I am also a part of. So I am the additional commissioner of the Industries and Commerce, and I also hold the post of the executive director of FAME, uh, the Industries Commissioner is the Managing Director of FAME. So we have a um, team which comprises of both the government officials as well as uh, consultants. And um, it was formed in 2019, so it is a fairly new organization uh, because um, there was a need in, uh, felt by the government that we should have a separate um, organization solely for the promotion of um, trade and um, uh, marketing needs of MSMEs along with um, finances and all of those things. So it is an organization that works under the MSME department in tandem with the Department of Industries and Commerce. And um, like I said, we have a team who is also present here alongside me. And um, uh, at the end of the event, I would encourage all of you to connect with our team as well. Um, they're a group of um, young, very enthusiastic officials and um, uh, RPMU uh, consultants. So if you need any information, if you need um, any assistance pertaining to connecting with MSMEs and any other thing that is uh, related to your business, do feel free to connect with us. So um, regarding the MOU that we have signed with RAI, it is basically uh, to uh, facilitate the uh, conduct of uh, workshops, webinars, um, even uh, physical activities pertaining to marketing and uh, branding of our MSMEs. Uh, as you know, Tamil Nadu, we have the third highest number of MSMEs in the country, numbering about five to six million. And these MSMEs, they are engaged in a wide variety of various trade and activities. And uh, traditionally in Tamil Nadu, we have been very strong in sectors like auto components, uh, textiles, heavy engineering, chemicals, electronics, and so on and so forth. And um, so, uh, however, uh, we also are aware that the MSMEs are also, you know, undergoing constant transition uh, because of the uh, various changes um, uh, pertaining to uh, the markets. Uh, and we know that access to finance is also a very, very important thing for them. So we have rolled out a couple of schemes and initiatives in order to address these um, uh, challenges. In fact, last week, uh, Mr. Uh, Suhail and Mr. Balachander were in our offices and we had uh, a discussion on uh, the, you know, various challenges being faced by the retail sector, by the MSMEs and the way forward. In fact, RAI would also be assisting us in developing the retail policy, which the government of Tamil Nadu would be coming out with shortly. And um, so uh, we hope that we will be able to have a good uh, collaboration. Uh, towards this. So branding and marketing is something which is, uh, it posits quite a big challenge for a lot of the MSMEs, um, not just in Tamil Nadu, but across the state as well. Uh, because a lot of our MSMEs, they manufacture really good products uh, which have, uh, you know, big, uh, great potential uh, for a market and sales, but a lot of them uh, do have problems in terms of packaging their products, in terms of branding, uh, in terms of marketing and so on. Like last year I was in Madurai and this uh, gentleman, uh, he makes these uh, uh, bags from the um, uh, banana fiber, uh, extremely eco-friendly, uh, very, very uh, trendy in terms of their design, very durable. I mean, these are bags that com can compete with any you know, branded bags in the malls. But the problem with this, this gentleman was facing was that, you know, how does he market uh, these products? How does he brand them? How does he reach a larger clientele? And I know that, you know, these kind of being an avid shopper myself, I know that, you know, these kind of bags, these items 
uh, are uh, very much in demand, even especially amongst the urban masses. But so the problem that they face is that they're unable to uh, reach their target clientele. They're unable to uh, brand their products, to market them uh, to their targeted uh, customer base. So I hope that um, uh, with regard to these uh, challenges, uh, Rai would be a good partner uh, for FameTN so that we will be able to um, you know, work out on these challenges and issues being faced by the MSMEs across various sectors. And uh, again, other things like um, even we spoke about um, e-commerce and ONDC and how uh, ONDC could prove to be a big um, uh, game changer even in retail. I think, um, uh, yes, that is true. But at the same time, we have to be aware that a lot of um, businesses, a lot of enterprises are still... Um, I would say very comfortable in operating in uh, their own business model. A lot of them would not want to migrate or shift to, uh, you know, the new advancements in technology, uh, in market access. So we also have to be mindful of those kind of uh, businesses and uh, enterprises as well. A short thing I would like to say is, um, again, I was quite surprised because my assumption was that, I mean, this is not related to retail per se, but even to um, uh, the um, uh, cabs that we hail on the app. I was under the impression that um, almost all the autos and the cabs are now either on the Ola or Uber platform. So I was in for a surprise last week when I went to watch uh, Oppenheimer with my cousin, and um, we tried to take a cab and um, uh, due to some reasons the uh, uh, cab kept getting cancelled and we found an auto and the auto was um, just parked next to the mall. This was after our movie and um, uh, so when I went and asked him, he was not in any of these you know, platforms. So um, I, because since I don't take uh, the cabs and all uh, very often, I wasn't aware. I just thought all of them are, you know, on these uh, platforms. So my cousin who uses these things very regularly, he told me that uh, a lot of them are still, you know, relying on this, um, uh, the usual method of just hailing them on the spot and, you know, them charging whatever money. And he said that part of the reason is because the prices on the apps are quite low. And so they do not like it. They would prefer uh, their autos or their cabs being hailed on the spot and them charging, you know, whatever amount comes to their mind. So this was a big revelation for me. So I'm just uh, stating, I, I don't know, because uh, being an avid uh, a shopper on e-commerce sites myself, uh, the reason for my preference is, number one, because uh, I feel that online there are a lot of discounts uh, you can get a lot of the items at very competitive prices. And secondly, it saves me the time and energy that I need to go to the uh, malls, the retail stores. So um, I was under the impression that, yes, uh, I, uh, now, you know, almost all retailers, everybody who uh, has access to these online platforms would uh, get on board them. But I think my experience last year um, proved otherwise. So I think I would love to hear from the panel discussion and all uh, regarding these things. Um, these are things that uh, I do not really have in-depth knowledge of. Uh, I'm just talking about my experience um, last week. So it would be nice to hear from the experts and the people who have been in this sector for uh, many, many decades. So with this, um, I would like to yeah, conclude my speech. And I hope that this is the start of a very um, fruitful uh, partnership between FAME Tamil Nadu and Retailers Association of India. And I would like to thank RAI, especially the CEO, uh, for um, giving us this opportunity to uh, engage in this uh, partnership between the government and RAI. Thank you very much.